Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick video because I, we had another release today at In Music uh, that we were part of, and this was for Engine DJ. We rolled out Engine DJ 4.3, and if you watch any of my other videos, sometimes I like to just go ahead and just uh, do another video on my own channel where I can just kind of shoot off the cuff and talk through the release. So on this one, we're going to talk about the top things about this Engine DJ 4.3 release that adds support for Apple Music Wi-Fi streaming. So that support comes to six different hardware pieces from Din and DJ and Newmark. So those are the Din and DJ Prime 4 Plus that you see here, the Din and DJ Prime Go Plus, the Din and DJ SC Live 2, and the Din and DJ SC Live 4. And then over on the Newmark side, we have the Newmark Mixstream Pro Plus and the Newmark Mixstream Pro Go. And if you're following the pattern here, those are all the hardware uh, releases that supported Apple Music, uh, I'm sorry, Amazon Music originally, that now support Apple Music. And that's because those pieces have a special digital rights management chip that satisfies the requirements of those streaming partners. For example, when we re released compatibility with Amazon Music, we had to do so on that hardware with that special chip. Otherwise, Amazon said, no go, we're not gonna be streaming on your, soft on your hardware. Same goes for Apple Music. Apple Music would not be supported on this hardware unless it had the digital rights management secure boot chip. So that is that. So other users, if you have the original Prime 4, you still get some uh, enhancements as far as bug fixes and improvements with this Engine DJ 4.3 release. But really the big advantage of Apple Music comes to those six pieces of hardware that I mentioned. So what's the big deal with Apple Music? Well, I'll tell you right now, if you were to look uh, I'm logged into Apple Music on this Prime 4 Plus. And right now it functions a lot like a lot of the other, you know, integrations, say Tidal and things like that. But what's different is the emphasis that Apple is putting on this Apple Music for DJs partnership. I mean, it's Apple, so they have a, you know, a lot of skin in the game as far as music. And they're really doubling down on the emphasis of DJs. So that's going to be a big win for us DJs. What you're gonna see on this platform that you don't see already, you're gonna see a bunch of curated playlists from partners. For example, Rain participated with a bunch of uh, mixes that we sourced from a lot of DJs we work with. So we have a Rain curator page on Apple Music. And I'll put a link in the description below because I'm not sure how easy it is to navigate to quite yet. But on that curator page, it's in a special section called DJ with Apple Music. And that has uh, these special curated playlists from the brands. For example, Rain has one. Uh, a section that has multiple playlists, but it also has mixes from these artists. And the whole point of that is to kind of provide some inspiration for DJs, and then they can grab the playlist and also mix along and practice that way. So it's made to provide a bunch of additional tools to be creative. Now, the one thing I think that is really cool that I noticed is uh, right now I have on Apple Music, you can pull up these uh, DJ mixes. And a lot of times you can you can tell you know, like this is a, a Fool's Gold Radio J-Rock DJ mix. And right now I have this playing as a playlist on the Prime 4 Plus, which is really cool because if you play this as a playlist, this, uh, we'll get that going. We're counting down here. And since I'm playing it as a playlist, it's gonna be a seamless mix. Next track. And so that's really cool, especially on a Prime 4 Plus because I can send that to a playlist zone out. So if I'm doing an event, I can pull up an Apple curated mix. And then, and they all say like, if you're pulling up an actual Apple mix like this Fool's Gold Radio, it'll say mixed in the track title. And you can just start that playlist from the top and it'll be seamless throughout the playlist. And the one thing you just wanna make sure is that if in your settings you go to mixer, and then uh, you make sure that your playlist deck crossfade time is set to off. And then that playlist, if you play it as a playlist, it'll just go straight through seamlessly, which is great for background music when you send it to the playlist for zone. Another really cool thing that I like about this Apple Music integration that you don't really see across the other streaming partners integrations is the fact that you can sync your library to the cloud and sync it across your devices. So if you have some local songs on your computer that aren't part of Apple Music, say custom remixes or things like that, you can sync those. You just have to select sync library in the, in the Apple Music settings. And what that will do is, for example, I synced a playlist called My Remixes that I just threw some random stuff in a playlist. Now I can 
pull those from the cloud and it'll download it from that sync playlist. So this was a track that I did not have. It's not available on Apple Music because it's something I made for a video we were doing. And because I synced it from my laptop to my iCloud, and all I have to do again is just mark that sync library checkbox, it's available here, which is really cool. So that is a kind of a big, in my opinion, that's the, the biggest feature of this Apple Music integration that sets it apart from the rest. That is the number one key feature for me. Other than that, just the ability to um, browse all the genres, just like, you know, the other competitors like Tidal and things like that are still there. But that iCloud integration is, is the number one thing for me. So that along with this kind of uh, playlist option and this curated list thing makes Apple Music something definitely to check out. I'm sure more features will come soon on this and this integration on the actual hardware will look a lot different once they start really rolling out this DJ with Apple Music content. But as for right now, you can grab the 4.3, download for your engine DJ hardware, and you can try Apple Music for free for 30 days with the Apple Music free trial, and just give it a spin and see what you think. And I'm guessing probably within the next couple of weeks, we're gonna see some of that DJ with Apple Music content pop up on our curated content. So anyway, that's just a real quick overview of Apple Music for Engine DJ devices, part of Engine DJ 4.3. Check it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. Here's a real quick tip if you're having issues with your library syncing across devices. You can just go up to File and Library and then select Update Cloud Library, and that'll push that sync for you uh, manually across your devices.